Treaty is a fundamental expression of relationship. So treaty is the base of developing an agreement to work together. What's interesting is Indigenous nations prior to contact were developing treaties all across Turtle Island amongst themselves inside of the nations, with other nations, with nations of non-human beings, so animal nations. And then when the Crown kind of comes along and starts making treaties, this is not something that's foreign to Indigenous people. It's actually a long-established practice within the territory of Turtle Island. So it's not just that we're not able to get clams or we're not able to fish. I mean, that's certainly an important part of it, but what's been taken away is not just those lands, but our ability to care for those relationships according to our own laws and governance structures. We didn't see ourselves as separate from the lands and waters. Those are foundations to how one is to be in relationship with the other. I think Inuit leaders recognized these deals were not optimal. And at the time, these were highly contentious ways to move forward, um, but necessary in consideration of the spaces that we found ourselves in. Non-Indigenous people are probably the biggest beneficiaries of the treaty of all because if we didn't have those treaties, we couldn't live here in any ethical way. 